Now that we have gone through everything in this detailed emissions inventory report, we will now go forward with validating the report and initiating the submission. But first, we're going to look at a summary re report over here to the right. If I click on this PDF right here, it's total emissions by source. And if I click on it, it will open up. And it will show me the summary emissions for this facility. And as you can see, it has all of the criteria pollutants as well as all of the hazardous air pollutants. It has the total emissions, the tailpipe emissions, and then the emissions excluding the tailpipe. So now what we're going to do is go through the submission process of this detailed emissions inventory report. We'll first validate the report. Clicked on the validate report button and it showed that there were no errors encountered while validating the report. So we will mark the report as ready for submission. We will click the back button and now we will initiate the submission. We must first view the electronic document. So I click on the view electronic document button. I'm now able to open that. And it's a bit of a long document. It shows everything, the release points, it goes on and shows the control devices, the emission units, the unit processes, and continues on to where it will list the emissions for each unit process. So you can review this document. This particular document is 51 pages long. But we have now been able to open it and review it. And we are able to continue now in the submission process. We click the continue button, which brings us to submission agreements. The first sentence, I certify that I have not violated any term in my electronic user agreement and that I am otherwise without any reason to believe that the confidentiality of my user ID and or password have been compromised now or at any time prior to this submission. Basically saying that uh, your user account has not been compromised. And then we have three boxes that we need to click. The first, I am the owner of the account used to perform the electronic submission. This means that you're the owner of the user account that's being used to perform the electronic submission. We click on that. I have the authority to submit the data on behalf of the facility I'm representing. I click on that. I have reviewed the electronic report. We did that. And now I am ready to continue. What is the name of the place your wedding reception was held? It is now asking me to provide an answer to one of the security questions that I set up when I set up my user account. So I have listed the answer and I will now put in the password. And I will click continue. And it now has indicated that we have successfully submitted the detail emission inventory report. We can click the view official copy of record, which shows the signature page as well as the rest of the emission report. It's 52 pages long. It lists everything from release points to control devices, emission units, unit processes, and the emissions. This is a successfully submitted detail emission inventory report. We click on the Done button and we are now finished.